So, Mark, we've never really had a deal of the week, per se, in our business. Yeah. But if we were to start doing a deal of the week, I feel like this would be it today. And we got three of them, not just one. Three deals of the week. So, uh, we're in Noisette Row. Row. A little tiny micro hood in the middle of Somerville. Like, almost historic section yeah. of Somerville. So, if you want to be less than two miles to Hutchinson Square, mm -hmm. where you can take your... LSV, yep, and go over to all the shops. golf cart for those of you who don't know what an LSV is. Low, Low speed vehicle. You're teaching me so much. I know. I'm a helper. That's what I do. This is probably the neighborhood for you, for sure. We've got three of the same model. They're all called the Lincoln model. They're all four bedrooms, two and a half baths, twenty five thirty two square feet. And for the location that we're at, we're all well under five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And so there's a bit of a story with that. Mm -hmm. So this neighborhood was built as kind of a higher end rental neighborhood. And then the town of Somerville said, no, 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 no. And so they ended up selling them off. So when I first got here, I was thinking, boy, what's it going to be like? Because, you know, sometimes we don't put nice stuff in the homes that are going to be rented. Rented, yeah. But they did here. Yeah. They they got nice stuff in these houses. I love the floors. I love the layout. Uh, all the all the stuff. Here's everything. The lights. They really uh, paid a lot of attention to detail. And with this location, you know, get down Saturday morning to the farmer's market. You could walk there. Easily. Well, you well, could walk there. I, I wouldn't. It's walk. almost two miles. It, yeah, it's it's. It, I could get there. I just would live there then. I wouldn't come back. Somebody would pick you up on the LSV. <laughs> yes, yes. Somebody that has the LSV. Uh, so it's it's a fantastic location. Lots of restaurants, parks, multiple parks within, yeah. you know, walking in LSV distance. Uh, so it's a great location. We've got three of the same model. Four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,500 and change square feet, right? That's right. Yep. All bedrooms upstairs. Super excited for you to see these. Let's go look at them. All right. So three of the exact same models here in this neighborhood, little tiny neighborhood on this street. Uh, it's called so, the Lincoln Plan. The Lincoln, yeah. So how many, four bedroom? Four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,532 square feet. And these are nice homes. Like we just walked through this to go turn on all the lights and everything. I'm very impressed and I'm extremely impressed at the price on these. Yes. These are like 30,000 off. Uh, just because there's three of them that they're trying to get rid of. And it, as we talked about, it's a superb location. Yeah, it is. Uh, very little available. Look at these floors. First thing you notice, they walk in these floors. Uh, and I, I love these floors. We don't see these a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, these these are really pretty. There's a lot doing in the in the grain of these. Like, Do you like them like this? I, I do. I like the natural look. Yeah, the wood. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I liked the thick baseboard at the bottom too. And the 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 hardware that they put on the doors. Uh, now they just screw me up. And one thing I'll show you that here and other. Okay. They already have blinds in. Yeah, blinds and look at the refrigerator. We we'll look close to the refrigerator, but they they put these in with blinds, refrigerator. Really, everything's in here you need except for your washer dryer. This house is moving ready. Right. right. They even put the. Ceiling fans with the remote controls on them. These are fancy. Yeah, yeah, they're fancified, as Benza says. That's right, that's right. So this house is in an X flood zone. That's super important to know. So no flood insurance if you end up having a mortgage in the house. And they put nice hardware in, but look, check out the backyard. I like how quiet it is out here. All, all I'm hearing here is uh, crickets or jitterbugs. Or jitterbugs, whatever, jitterbugs. whatever they are. Normally, when we walk out onto a back, we're walking onto wood. This is actually concrete because of the lay on uh, this house, the lay of the land here. So steps down into the yard. But look at the fence that the, is next door. I would absolutely put that just add on right on this side, and I might even leave the back open. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Or unless you had a dog, or a lower. Like Maybe you could lower it at the back. Oh yeah, just to have some more view of the, the woods. Yeah. But this is a really pretty lot. All, all three of these are nice lots. So siding on this is hardy plank. It's yep. out of vinyl as well, uh, which is good for downtown Somerville, I think. And I think they probably had to abide by certain codes and Building standards codes. since yeah. we are in the town of Somerville. Um, but for what these were going to be, they put a lot of nice stuff in mm -hmm. these. So I like the... I like this. I like the handles on the drawers. Pulls. 
the poles. No, wait. I those are called. Poles. I consider these poles. No, they're called knobs. Knobs? Yeah, I think they're actually called knobs. And okay, so these are poles. These, so these, so I got everything wrong. Yeah. I got the handles wrong, the knobs wrong, and the poles wrong. Yeah. Okay. Just want to be clear. The <laughs> soft close mm -hmm. on these. A very nice upgraded Whirlpool stove. Nice gas. We've got a microwave here. Oh, look, it's so, it says welcome. Well, it, it's, it's so nice. This house is so welcoming. It is. This is, um, quartz is, uh, I think what it's called is Lyra. And it's a very popular, um, color that is so in I'll, all the new construction. I'll be honest. It, it you absolutely could have just made that up and I wouldn't have any idea. <laughs> Well, I've been to enough design center appointments lately yeah. that I'm getting to know the company. You actually remember the things you learned at these design center appointments, and I just make up things as I go. Yeah. Look at these lights, too. They're cool. So this is big open space in that, you know, we've got kitchen here, put a dining room table here right by the back sliding door, and then still loads of space. I think the intention would be, first of all, Imagine the size TV you could put up in the hall. Oh, 100 inch. You'd turn this into a movie theater. Yeah. You could do what we did in the office. And oh, yeah. Put four, four together to make a 100 yeah. inch. Or, yeah. That might work. I might buy them. You might buy them. Let's do that. All right. So uh, they've got a half bath down here. Okay. So on the main floor. Nice big. I like how they did the 12 by 24 tile. Oh, yeah. And then a walk in closet here. Pretty big. And then this is the one that screwed me up. So normally, you open the right door first. Yeah, it's the left. I, I did it to me too. The builder did it here. That you open the left door first. So it's a coat closet. Yeah. Okay. But a nice, good story. Yeah. Between this one and that one right there, really good. Yeah. And I got to remember to close the right one first, and then what? They've got the new style of crown molding in as well, and the craftsman style trim. So I like all of that. How about cool. the banister? Four door fridge. What's it? Uh, the yeah, I think the anchor, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Banistering. Got the wood and the iron, wire and the metal um, iron spindle. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll work. And then pantry. Oh yeah. And then laundry room is here. So some people like that the laundry room is not on the main floor yeah. as the bedrooms, because if there is ever a leak, it's not mm -hmm. coming through your ceiling. Not the ceiling, yeah, yeah. I like it because I get to throw my dirty clothes down the down the desk there. Yeah, Andrew loves that. So, Jeff, I don't think you saw this yet, but there's some extra space in this garage over there that could definitely fit a nice workbench or. Um, so, actually, with the with where this neighborhood is and being able to get from here down into downtown Somerville by golf cart, mm -hmm. you could actually sneak a golf cart in here and then still a small car. Now, would it be a golf cart or would it be an LS? It would be an LSV because you're going on room 8 or 35 miles an hour. Okay. Um, but you could have an LSV. I like that they put the, the water heater inside the garage mm -hmm. and there's your main water shut off. Got the garage door open or your electric panel out here. This is nice. Very good. So wood treads on the steps. I like it. And the steps are really wide. Did you notice that? They are wide. Yep. And saw it like the And that end. front hallway when I came in felt wider also. Mm -hmm. So that's the primary. All right. So let's go through all the secondary and end in the primary. I don't even want to go on the carpet. It's so pretty. <laughs> they got the they got the lines in it, yeah. So Oh, squishy carpet, too. Yeah, it's got a good pad on it. Nice walk-in closet. All right. Okay. And it is wired for a ceiling fan. Yep. So you can replace that light with a ceiling fan. A little bit smaller. This could be another second office, maybe. Yeah. All right, so which one do we open first? Left. Whoa, they switched it up on me. How dare they? Okay, so there's still another walk-in closet in here for the smaller room. Nice. And then we got uh, the secondary bathroom. And I like that they put two sinks in this one. Yeah, for sure. So, and there's a regular tub. I bet you we're just going to find the shower in the primary. Pro. And linen closet. Okay. And another bedroom. All right. 
50 50 shot here. What do you I'm going with whatever you think. Don't peek. Um, what do I pull first, right or left? So in there, I'm going to say they did all the upstairs the same. And in there, it was the right. Left. No, you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let's see. All right. Uh, you win. So the upstairs person did it one way. The down, <laughs> yeah, they had, a, they had two. That's like if you and I came in to do the yeah, yeah, yeah. installation. Right. It's a big room, though. Yeah. All right, so attic access here. A lot for storage, just access for the attic. Mm. There's another zone up here, so you're on two different zones. Of, oh, I didn't expect this. Right? It's like a linen closet storage closet. We put Oh, yeah, easily. You're always looking for the dog. I know. I always want to think about where can I put the dog. Big room. Right? Tray ceiling, ceiling fan. Got the remote. Blinds up here also. Decent walk-in closet. Yep. But with that big closet right outside the the door. Yeah. That you really don't need much. That would be the guy's closet. Yeah. Probably. Same tile. Hey, we got that file. Oh, another closet. Yeah. So that's the guy's closet. No, I don't know. They're, they oh. all seem to be about the same size. Oh, God. Yeah. And then, oh, cool, cool floor. And oh. also, it's a glance into the drain. Which, yeah, smart. Piled all the way up. It's pretty. I like it. Oh, linen. Yep. All right. Throne room. Yep. All right. So, all of the living. On all the bedrooms on the second floor. Yep. Nice big open space downstairs in this house. Lots of nice upgrades that we're not seeing in, in a lot of the builders doing. This is a great house. So first thing I want to do is thank Kelly and Jim with Next Home Low Country for these are their listings allowing us to come out and get video of these great They're houses. Gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. We would love to find some buyers for these. Uh, fantastic location. Brand new homes. Lots of cool stuff in them. I'm a big fan of these, and and the price is phenomenal because they 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 want rid of them honestly because they they build it as a rental and they can't do it as that. And we already talked a little bit about the location, but if you want to be in downtown Somerville, this is pretty close to that, almost in the historic section, so close to Hutchinson Square, the Farmers Market, yep. plenty of restaurants. So it's really an ideal location yeah. to be in. If you haven't watched this before, I'm Jeff Gregg, and this is Mark Klim. We're with Charleston Area Living. We cover real estate market all over Somerville, Charleston, really the, about half the state now. We yeah. Keep growing out further. But the best way to talk to us about this home or any others in the market is down in, um, let me see if I get this right, not in the comments. No. In the description. In the description. Down in the description. There's a link you can click to drop into our calendar, schedule a Zoom call, an in-person meeting with us in our office or a phone call, and we talk through what makes sense for you and what you're looking for. And do us a favor, if you found value in this video or other videos, go ahead and like, subscribe, and click that little bell. Yes. That little bell will push videos out to you so you know when we do more videos. And of course, now we're starting Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check we're doing out our live video. Tuesday at 7, we did our first one this last week. And it was a lot of fun. It was fun. I was we working. working. Yeah, we did. We got questions. So bring your questions live on Tuesday nights, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.